Tobago's carnival is just about three weeks away, and band leaders are eagerly anticipating strong patronage from Tobagonians. According to Dexter Sandy, the interim president of the Tobago October Carnival Association, bands are collaborating to enhance their marketing efforts. Ariana Scipio has more details on what exactly Toko is doing to encourage Tobagonians to play mass in Tobago. The Toka Band House showcases a diverse array of bands for individuals to select for Tobago's carnival celebrations. Dexter Sandy provided an of what the Toka Band House encompasses. The Toka Band House is really a representation of all the bands. Right? So all the bands that are part of Toka have come together under one um, roof at Shaw Park Complex. Um, Shaw Park Complex has been able to accommodate us. And we've set up a forum there where persons can come in, they can see the costumes, feel the costumes, make a choice, purchase. Sandy shared that the bands are offering discounted costumes, allowing patrons the flexibility to select different bands for juve and mass if they wish. He stated that the band house is designed to provide people with choices and mentioned that they are open from 11 a.m. on Sunday until stocks are exhausted. And the, the band house is another representation of our collective voice. Um, I mean, on the screen here, you would see um, videos and images of the costumes that are available at Shaw Park. He said costumes are also available for purchase on the Welcome to Bago page for those who may not purchase from the complex in person. He shared why band leaders have decided to collaborate for this year's carnival. As band leaders, we were kind of disjointed, right? And with the announcement that we're going to go this uh, second year coming, um, we decided, look, let's pull together. We've seen some gaps where marketing didn't start on time, right, from our point of view. And we decided if we pulled together as an organization, we could do something. The Toka president expressed his appreciation for ACP Collis Hazel's consistent communication regarding information about the Tobago Carnival. He also commended Councillor Tasha Boris for attentively addressing their concerns and assisting in their arrangements. He noted differences between last year's Carnival and this year's, primarily a decrease in promotion compared to the previous year due to lifted restrictions from the pandemic. Despite this, the quality of the costumes have improved while remaining and affordable. Toka has been in operation since last Tuesday and will continue until Saturday, October 7th. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television.